Hello everyone and welcome to my Days of Our Lives official channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Brady frantically goes to Nicole for help after Tate is gone after in prison. Chanel recoils as Paulina makes a morning veggie smoothie at home. It appears as though Shrek threw up in there. Paulina's simply attempting to be better right after her thyroid issues. In fact, her endocrinologist gave her the idea to look into holistic treatments for memory problems that could help Abe. Sweet Bits chocolate croissants are brought to the door by Abe, who is met with disapproval by Paulina. Abe is informed by Chanel that Paulina is currently on a health kick, and Chanel then departs for their privacy. Paulina begins to educate Abe regarding her examination, yet he stops her. He wants his memory back, but he will learn to live with it if it doesn't happen. The inquiry is, can you? At the bar, an exhausted Everett deals with an article about Paulina's medication strategies netting record survey numbers. Stephanie enters with two shots of coffee for him from another foundation, which she can do in light of the fact that her uncle claims the bar. She realized he'd require it in the wake of working the entire night on the story. She then, at that point, energetically tries out a thought for an observer PR murder secret occasion at a departure room. He believes it's smart. Maybe they can even save this paper. More, moving on to other matters, Stephanie asks Everett about the MLK Park cleanup day and Lindsay Hartley about why a Passions reboot would explode. He reports it's late in light of the fact that Leo is filtering through a lot of material. Evidently, there is no deficiency of mysteries sale mites are attempting to stow away. Stephanie streaks back to awakening in Harris's room over the bar. Harris and Jada show up at a shabby condo where police have captured a husky man with long, wavy hair and a thick facial hair growth. After the capturing cops leave, Harris requests to know where the cuffed man got the ten packs of dope tracked down in his control. At the point when the man won't talk, Harris offers to make his charges disappear in the event that he lets them know who his supervisor is. EJ brings Nicole home to refocus, however she becomes suddenly angry over his groveling. She feels like she won't ever wake from this bad dream. EJ reminds her he returned from being shot in the head. Holly is youthful and brimming with life and soul. She'll beat what was happening, as well. Although Nicole tries to be optimistic, she is currently having trouble believing in miracles. More, Justin Hartley's tracker promotion. Before EJ, Nicole presses her eyes shut and opens her mouth wide as she shouts. Nicole describes how she petitioned God for without precedent for quite a while when they spread their child's remains, and afterward Holly OD'd. She accepted that as an indication of how God feels about her. EJ gently guarantees her that misfortunes occur, it's no reflection on her. There's nothing left but to areas of strength for stay center around what they actually must be thankful for. Nicole jeers that it's far from simple or easy. EJ urges her to cry, however Nicole doesn't require consent for that. Screaming is what she wants to do. Then do it, he says. He goes first while siphoning her up to take action accordingly. She cries out in a loud way before falling into his arms. In the prison's guest's room, a watchman conveys a slumping Tate to see his folks. He hesitantly uncovers a black eye he got from a detainee in the cafeteria. Brady declares, fuming, that Tate shouldn't be there. Teresa concurs, requesting Brady to take care of that. Brady is stuck and has no other options. He could ask Nicole to appeal to EJ, according to Teresa. With a stricken demeanor, Teresa carefully contacts Tate's face in the prison's guest room. Brady irately remains behind her, vehemently pointing lower. In the wake of becoming a caution about a vendor being taken in to be interrogated, Everett leaves the bar. Jada looks at her phone as she emerges from the kitchen as he leaves through the front door. Jada and Stephanie sit together, and they talk about their day of drinking with Harris. Stephanie demands she cares very little about Harris, however she kissed her ex, Everett. Chanel breezes into Wolf down an unfortunate ham and cheddar omelette and perhaps to sneak one to Abe. Stephanie welcomes her to sit with them while she pauses. Chanel and Jada trade an uncomfortable look. More, Alex Landy gets back to Dark's Life Systems Season 20. 
In the Salem PD crew room, Everett raises his pen to the cross-examination room window. Harris stretches out his hands with his back to the window open and he clearly looks ahead. As the street pharmacist stalls Harris in the cross-examination room, Everett taps on the window. As the dealer glares at Harris intently through the glass, Harris leaves. In the crew room, Everett requests to have a go at the vendor when Harris transfers he hasn't gotten any place. Harris clearly can't allow that to occur. Everett Stiffy wishes him karma. You will require it. The husky Harry Street pharmacist gazes emotionlessly forward while sitting in the cross-examination room. His long wavy dim hair parts down the center. At the point when Nicole goes higher up, E.J. opens the Demera front way to Brady, who requests to converse with Nicole alone. She returns and requests that E.J. allow them a moment. At the point when he hesitantly leaves, Brady lets Nicole know how sorry he is about Holly prior to arguing Tate's case. He beseeches her to interest E.J. She inquires as to whether he thinks the medications were Tate's. He can't rest assured. Nicole accepts Brady simply admitted to safeguard Tate since he realized he was blameworthy. Brady demands he was attempting to avoid E.J.'s fury onto him. In any case, he thinks Tate is coming clean and that it's conceivable Holly turned to drugs after her turbulent youth. E.J. surges back as Nicole shouts at Brady to get out. Outside, Brady destroys in disappointment. More, Eric Martsolf on Kristen's response. In the jail guest's room, Tate owns up to Teresa how terrified he is. He doesn't have the foggiest idea how much longer he can deal with this. Teresa promises she and Brady won't rest until he is gone. Meanwhile, she realizes he'll emerge from this more grounded, as she did with Alfidio. He is her child, and he's more grounded than he knows. At home, Paulina demands her sentiments won't change for Abe in the event that he doesn't get his memory back. She wants to show him the video of their wedding, though, in the hope that it will jog his memory. Abe realizes it probably been one of the most joyful days of his life, so he might want to watch it. As they watch, the two of them destroy as Abe says his promises. Afterward, they laugh while the video keeps on playing. Since Abe's memory hasn't returned, he proposes they reenact the primary kiss as a couple. As they incline in, Paulina's ringing telephone hinders them. She replies to Brady, who believes that her should fire E.J. Days E.J. reprimanding Nicole with a finger in the Demera section corridor. More, Dan Furigal on E.J.'s close-to-home state. At the manor, Nicole lets E.J. know that in the event that Brady is correct and the medications weren't Tate's, then she is to blame. E.J. proclaims Brady is simply attempting to get his child free, and that won't occur. He will do everything in his power to make Tate Black pay for his actions and ensure Holly recovers. I swear on the spirit of my dad. Brady gets back to the jail to report that Nicole is an impasse, and except if E.J. crosses a line, City Hall leader Cost can't meddle. Tate says thanks to him for attempting. Brady commitments to get him out of there. I swear to my grandfather's soul. More, did Days simply prod Gobby's return? Paulina inquires of Abe regarding Tate at home. He doesn't have any idea what he'd do if he were to imagine being in her situation, however she has a sharp psyche and an extremely enormous heart. He confides in her judgment. They kiss. At the point when Jada gets up to leave the bar, Chanel says she's sorry regarding her sister leaving town and asks after Talia. Jada says she's doing a firm and simply needed a new beginning. I'm sure we've all been there. Everett looks out the window at the women outside, but Chad tells him to leave. Thanks for watching if you like this video, so please don't forget to subscribe my channel and don't miss any update.